So the last video cut out when I was explaining how to set the character paragraph style options. And um, we went over the basic character formats that it's Adobe Garamond in italic, 14 points, and with an automated letting. And then I wanted to show you that there's also some spacing after point zero six two five. So it's um if you just use the preset, it's like the the second pre the first preset after zero inches. Um and then let's see. So there's a little space after I just want to show you what that looks like over here. There's a little bit of space and there's a rule here. So we're gonna add a rule below and under paragraph rules, you can add, you can specify that, and I've already done that rule below at 0.5 um, points. So you can select it here and then choose the color. And we're choosing black, even though the text color is currently black. We could choose it to match the text color, but if we want it to stay independent, like regardless of whether we decide to go back and change the text color to blue or something, the rule will always stay black if you specify that the rule is black. So it's a, there's an important distinction there. You can have it match the text so that if you change the color, the text color to blue, then the rule automatically changes to blue as well. It's um, it's a choice. It's a decision depending on what you're going for. So that was pretty much the rest of the kicker. And then there's something else called a standing head, um, which is basically like a kicker. So I'm going to show you really quick. Um, there's our kicker. And then we have another, what looks like another kicker. This health, this issue's health focus. So it's similar to a kicker. And the way they styled it is almost exactly the same, except for the fact that it's bold. So um, to save time, instead of, creating a new paragraph style that's almost exactly the same as what we've set up here. We are just going to duplicate the kicker, so make sure the kicker, um, kicker paragraph style layer is selected and then duplicate style and rename it health focus standing head, health focus standing head. Now we could base it on the kicker, but that would mean if we ever change the kicker, the health focus standing head would also change. Now, sometimes you might want that, but in this case, we want to keep them separate so they don't affect one another. And then um, just go to basic paragraph um, formats and change it to bold italic. Hit OK. And now there's another way to actually add one more style, and it's by importing one of the snippets. When you bring in the snippet that already has a style applied to it, it automatically appears in the paragraph style. So we're gonna do that next. So grab your pages panel and make sure to go to this, oh, I'm already there. <laughs> the, the second spread, the inside spread. And then we're gonna place, file place or command D, place a snippet. Um, so we're placing this spread head snippet, get your puppy on, and then off to a good start. So it looks like this spread head on page two, open, and then just place it there. It should pop in and then place the next one, command D, spread head from three, page three, open, place, and then we're going to take a look at the paragraph styles and see if they appear. Yes, they are here. And one thing you'll notice is that the spread headline has a little plus symbol after it. And as I hover over it, it tells me that it, it overrides option, um, let's see, align flush left. Okay, so basically, if I want to clear the override, um, I click this button. And you can see that initially the paragraph style is supposed to be aligned right, or yeah, aligned right. But then because um, they want to bring it to the left, then they changed it up in the control panel like so. Where's the control panel? Let me select the text first. Grab my T tool, select, and then align it to the left. And now you can see the plus symbol appears again because it's all it's deferring, deterring from the original paragraph style just a little bit in one aspect or another. So whenever you see that plus sign, it means you've changed something about it so it's not exactly.